Hi everyone, it's Matthew here. How are we all doing today? I'm going to be showing you how to use twisted spiral beading technique to make a absolutely gorgeous bracelet in today's tutorial. Um, as always, I've got my cup of tea, which it's in the Matthew mug, as always, my favourite mug. Uh, but yes, who have we got here already? We've got lots of people who've already joined. We've got Penny, we've got Evelyn, um, Shannon is on as well, Amanda. Lots of people have been saying hello over there on YouTube. We've got Marsha as well, Sue's on, Sharon's over on Facebook. Uh, thanks everybody for joining in. Uh, Kelly's here as well. Lots and lots of people have already come on. So, um, as I said, today, this week, I am going to be showing you how to make this beautiful beaded spiral. So if I just hold it up in front of the camera, the sort of thing that you'll make, you can get the idea. Wait, let's see if I can get it in focus first. That might be a good idea. Uh, wait a second. Come on now. There we go. Ready? This is what we're going to be making in today's tutorial. How does that look? I should get my thread out of the way. There we go. Whoops. So yes, this little fella right here, beaded spiral jewelry. I'm using satin glass pearls as my main feature on the outside to give it some extra fantastic sparkle. I've got Aurora micro crystals, which if you don't know what they are, I am gonna tell you all about it a bit later on. And then I've got size 10 Preciosa seed beads, and I've also got size eight Preciosa seed beads as well. So uh, yeah, lots and lots of fun today. There's seven different colors of the kit that we have available for you. So these are the seven different colors just here. Um, if you want as well, we are doing a fantastic deal on those particular beads so that you can get any three for 30 pounds. So uh, if I just pop that on the screen, here we go, is it gonna pop up? There we go. Any three for 30 pounds. So as you can see, that gorgeous spiraling effect from that fantastic bracelet there are seven different colors to choose from, but if you want to get one, uh, you can get any three for 30 pounds. So amazing value. It's more than 15% off, uh, but it's a really fun, really simple, easy technique. And a lot, like a lot of beading, the great thing about it is you just learn one simple little technique and then you just repeat, 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 repeat over and over and over until you've created your beautiful um, bracelet. Um, another fantastic thing about this one is if you want to, you can just make it a little bit longer and in the end it uh, will become a necklace. Um, one last thing that I'll tell you as well, especially as part of our three for 30 pounds, um, this is something Jermaine noticed, which would make a lot of fun. You can turn your three bracelets into a, uh, a really long necklace because they have these gorgeous magnetic clasps on them. So I'll just show you really quickly what Jermaine's showed me. Uh, it's a fantastic idea. This is the, the clasp that we have there. Oh, it's out of focus. But anyway, it's a big round ball. But what you can do is join your little bracelets together and it will create a lovely long necklace. So look at that. And then you can see You've got three different colors in one, and then there you go. It's a necklace now. There you go, how's my necklace looking? Makes my eyes pop, don't you think? Um, we've got Anastasia, she says, how are you, Matthew? I am well, thank you uh, for joining. I have, yes, yeah, she said she's been away for some time, looks like it. Um, let's see, lots and lots of people are commenting in. Um, who's new, by the way? Uh, I always wanna know who is new. We've got Sylvan, uh, Susan here, she says, currently bling masks for my daughter's wedding. Well, you might find this very, very nice because a bridesmaid's bracelet, for example, could be perfect with this little design. Um, a couple of the things I'll just mention as always, if you wanna be on today's show, uh, send us your pictures to live at beatspider.co.uk. Um, I've got plenty of pictures from the previous weeks when uh, everyone was away and things. 
and we weren't able to get all the pictures on but I got plenty for you today but I'll show you this a little bit later on um, first things first though I want to show you all of the absolutely gorgeous things that you're going to get in part of your um, little kit just here because obviously uh, this design is a kit. We always do our designs as kits. I'm going to be demonstrating this absolutely, wait a minute, let's get, make sure it's all in focus here. Uh, I'm going to be demonstrating this absolutely gorgeous color. I love this one here. This one is our sweet pea, I think we called that one. I can't remember exactly the name. Uh, but yeah, that one, it's got an absolutely gorgeous green tones. But I'll just show you all of the different items that we're going to be using today. So I've got Preciosa Satin Pearls, which are these ones here. They are... Um, glass pearls made in the Czech Republic, so the quality is amazing. They look absolutely fantastic because they've got this really muted, soft, satiny uh, surface. By the way, hello to Jane Flecknell. She says she's new. I am so glad you've joined. Um, Maxine is on, uh, and she said that the green is her favorite color. She helped me uh, choose some of the colors and all of the, the names. So uh, if you like the names of the kits, which if you want to see them, they're in the, the link in the description there. But anyway, um, these are some of the different colors of those gorgeous satin pearls. Another product that we're using as well are our Preciosa size 10 seed beads and I've got some size eight seed beads. So these ones are a little bit bigger. These ones are a bit smaller. And then these are absolutely gorgeous. If you haven't seen them before, they're called Aurora Micro Crystals. They are exclusive to us at Bead Spider, which at first I'll just tell you what they are. It's uh, They are extremely interesting. So essentially they are crystals but made, uh, but made to the same size and precision as a seed bead. So if you're doing bead work like this, um, if you're doing bead work like this, they are really, really fantastic for adding some bling to your jewelry. So they are, here you go. Here's a, a little example of a bit of bead work that includes some of those Aurora micro crystals. So uh, they are really, really lovely little beads, but wait till you see what they look like in the flesh. So I've got some just here in my hand. Wait a second. So yes, these are micro crystals. As I said, same size, shape and precision as your seed beads, but look how sparkly they are. They absolutely glint and catch the light. And it's just something you cannot get from a seed bead um, otherwise because it is just absolutely vibrant. They really, really bring your jewelry to life. See, look, here's another example. Look at that. Look how sparkly they are. But yeah, they are on the Bead Spider website. They're called Micro Crystals. If you head to the Bead Spider website, which I'll open it up and show you it in a minute. Um, but you can see, look how sparkly they are. They're absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, they really add oomph to your jewelry. I'm going to be using those. I'm going to be using some satin pearls as well. Uh, lots and lots of different things that I'm going to be using today. But essentially, these are the sorts of things that you need to make this beautiful design. Um, as always, uh, guys, if you want to like this video, share it. If you're on Facebook, um, definitely hit that little share button. If you're on YouTube, uh, just down here, I think, in that little bottom corner is a little subscribe button. Um, definitely, definitely hit that button. I think we're on 17,400 now. Um, Martin says, I cannot wait. I ordered them, expecting them to arrive any day now. Fantastic. So, um, first things first, I'll just show a couple of pictures. I'll just go little by little with the um, with the the pictures that people have sent in. So I'll just show them one at a time and then I'll demonstrate a bit. So the first one, this was sent in. So as always, if you want to be on the show, don't forget this image here. Send us your pictures to live at beadspider.co.uk and we'll try and get you on the show, as always. So yes, the first one that's come in, Chris Yu. So she got my free pattern from um, last Monday, so just over 
about 10 or so days ago. Uh, she said, thank you for this dress pattern. Uh, she beaded them into different colors for my nieces and they love them. And I added three mil crystals to the bottom of the dress. Well, they look absolutely gorgeous, Chris. Thank you for sending those in. Looks absolutely beautiful. And I'll show one other picture just now. We've also got Hawk B. Lessard. I don't know uh, where you're from or who you are. But uh, let's see. After watching your video, I was able to come up with a design all of my own. So again, she's had a go at the dress design there, but she's embellished it. It looks absolutely amazing. Fantastic there. Um, thank you so much for all for your generous gift of this pattern. Not a problem at all all so thank you very very much to both of you i do have more pictures but i'll show them a bit later i'm sure you want to see some demonstrating so let's get on with it shall we so i'll just pop the little instruction into the top corner first first things first we need to add on a little stopper bead so just pick any bead something that you'll recognize is a bit different in this particular case i'll just get these a bit out of shot uh, I'm going to just use one of my Preciosa seed beads here at the bottom. Oh, I almost forgot to show you. This is the clasp, essentially. It's a gorgeous little piece just there, but it's super, super, super strong. Like that there. See that? Look at that. Wow. Camera doesn't even see it jump. But yeah, from the distance, it's... there you go. Look at that. Really, really strong magnets. We make sure we get all of our clasps to have really, really strong magnets. Lots of people are saying that that looks fabulous to Hawk and lots of people loving Chris's stuff as well. Um, but yeah, so first things first, we are going to add on our little stopper bead. We need to leave ourselves a tail enough to add on our clasp. So maybe about 10 to 15 centimeters um, on, the, on, the, on, on the end there. That's probably enough. And then we just go through that same stopper bead one more time to secure it onto our thread. And this is gonna sort of give us a little base structure with which we can um, sort of attach our, our little beadwork, shall we say. So um, now that I've got my, my little um, stop a bead on there. Let's just zoom in a tiny, tiny, weeny bit there, shall we? I know everybody loves it, how much they can see our designs. First thing we're going to do, I'm going to be using my size eight seed beads. So that's these ones just here in this particular color. They're my bigger size of seed bead. So I'm going to be using those first and foremost to uh, create, it's almost like a spine, as it were, of my, my design. So once I've got my, my little beaded spine made and ready and everything, that's what we're, we're gonna be spiraling around. So if we have a look at that diagram up there in the corner, I'm gonna pick up four little size eight seed beads. So as I said, they're the bigger of the two seed beads that we need to use. And I'm going to slide them all the way down to my little stopper bead there at the base. Am I close enough, by the way? Oh, my cousin Shane's just joined us. Hi, Shaney Poo. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, do you know, Shane, I, I showed some of his pictures. He watched one of my tutorials. This is my cousin who lives in uh, in Brisbane in Australia. He watched one of my tutorials making the, the jazz set and he decided he would uh, make one of those. So we sent him a jazz set and uh, he he's made that for his, his, his girlfriend. Um, so yes, now that I've got my four beads on the base there, let me just flip it, shall I? Just to make it for you right-handers. I know everybody prefers it in right hand. So next step, what we're going to do, you can see it just there in the, uh, in the top corner just here. We're going to pick up one size 10 seed bead. So if we have a look at the diagrams, the green ones, they're the seed beads. The red ones, they're the faceted microcrystals. Then the purple one is my four mil bead. And then again, it's another micro crystal, another seed bead. And essentially what we're going to do is loop through the spine of our design here. Who's done Who's done flat spiral before? It's, uh, it's quite a popular little technique. It's fairly similar to last week's video, which if you missed last week's video, definitely take a quick look. I'll just show you very, very quickly before I start demonstrating. 
Um, I did a flat spiral. So this one is a, a twisted spiral. I did a flat spiral last week. So if you missed that one, um, the kit is still on sale until Sunday, where it teaches you how to make all 11 of these designs. In fact, there's so many designs, I couldn't get them all in the photograph. Um, that is still on sale on the Bead Spider website. Um, if you fancy having a look over there at that, you can get that kit still on sale. Um, and it includes all the instructions plus a DVD on how to make 11 different designs. So that was last week, which is a variation on this one. Um, Susan says, I'm using micro crystals at the moment. I'm doing the Monaco bracelet. Well, thank you for uh, letting us know about that one, Susan. The micro, the, the Monaco, when I showed you that little animated video of the beadwork, that's one of the Monaco bracelets that Susan is talking about. Um, so that, uh, I'd love to know how you're getting on, Susan. How is your micro crystal bracelet coming along? Um, lots of people commenting in. Uh, here we go. Sharon Shepard. Hello, everyone from Atlanta, Georgia, USA. Thanks for joining us, um, Sharon. I'm glad you're enjoying the show. So I've got my little beads now, my four in the spine. And then as you can see, I've added on my, uh, where are we pointing? Here we go. I've added on one seed bead, one, let's zoom in a teeny weeny weeny bit. Come on now, a bit more. There we go. So I've got one seed bead here, one of my micro crystals, which you can see they're the same size there. The surface of this metallic surface of this green one makes it seem a little bit smaller, but they're the same size as each other side by side. Then I've got my size eights, which are, uh, sorry, my, my, my four mil satin pearl there, and then another micro crystal and another seed bead. So as per my little diagram up there in the corner, what I need to do is take my needle up just through the four beads in the spine of my, my little piece just here. I want to make sure that they're pressed up against my stopper bead there. And then if I just, I'll do it all on the mat so that you can see what I'm doing. If I just press my finger on it and pull, 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 that'll get it a bit closer. And now I'll try and do it on the thing so you can see. I'll pull. And then all the way until that's nice and firm on that little side disc there. Let's flip it over so it looks the same. There we go. So there we go. There's my little spine. Um, there's my little spine. And then I've got my seed bead, my micro crystals, and my pearl. That's the first step. Um, we've got Saba Sultana, which is Azra. I know Azra. She says, hi, I just got here late. Lovely beads and not to forget Jermaine, Matthew, Andrew and Maxine. Everybody's, uh, you know, loving on Maxine today, I tell you. Um, after a number of tries, I think we've now worked it out, uh, says Susan. So I guess she's talking about her... her um, her Monaco bracelet. Anyway, let's uh, move on today uh, with the next step. Kelly says she's finally got her parcel as well. She ordered online from us um, and we've shipped it off to Australia. So she's going to be making her kitty cat bracelet. Oh, okay, fun. Uh, so next step, what I need to do, you can see the big yellow one, that's another bead for the spine. Uh, so I'll pick up one size eight bead, just like this one just here, and I'm gonna thread that down all the way to join in with the other beads of my spine. So essentially I'm creating slightly bigger one just there, slide that up, and what we do now, we repeat the process again. So we pick up one seed bead, one of our little micro crystals, our satin pearl there, uh, Kelly says, oops, sorry, brooch. Yes, the kitty cat is a brooch. You're right. Um, here we go. Another micro crystal and one more little seed bead. So there we go. There's my seed beads, crystals, and so forth. And now what I'm going to do, it's ever so slightly different. If you have a look here in that diagram, I'm not going to go through all five beads of my spine. What I'm going to do is pick up and go through just the first four. Um, Susan says, hi, Matthew and everyone, I'm a bit late. 
Uh, I'm a bit late, I see. Sorry. Don't worry, Susan, you can always rewind this video. It will be available on demand on YouTube and Facebook after as well. So definitely jump on there. Um, so yes, now what I need to do is go through the four beads of my spine just here. So not the fifth one. I've added one. So what we do, we go through the four beads at the, at the top. So there we go. One, two, three, four, like that. And then essentially need to just pull that one up and that will add my next little loop let's just pull that back up there there we go so now you can see just like in my diagram i've got one which i did at the beginning which is a bit lower down and then one a little bit higher up uh, on the opposite side there at the minute so this is the part where some people can get a little bit mixed up and you make this is where you can make mistakes. This is the most important part. What you do now, I'll just pop over the diagram. So see how I've got it there so that the arrow is a big, big fat arrow passing from one side to the other. So what we do is we take our little piece just here and we fold it over on top of the previous one. So essentially that's how, good morning to Sarah Applewaite. She's just joined us. Um, thanks for joining Sarah. So there you can see, I've just flipped it over onto my little piece just there. And essentially that's the sort of the basis of what we do. And what I need to do now is pick up one more of my little size eight beads here. So you can see it at the top of the diagram just uh, up up there at the top of the diagram one more of these little beads just here so pick up a size eight and we add to our little sort of backbone our little spine so there we go it's over on that side now so what we do now essentially is just repeat that process over and over and over again so what i'm going to do now again is pick up one size 10 seed bead one micro crystal how easy is this guys don't you think if uh, that's that's essentially the only thing that you have to repeat is just that little process right there over and over uh, to get it all done so i picked up my seed bead my micro crystals oops get it in shot there where's the camera there it is uh, seed bead micro crystal pearl micro crystal seed bead um becky good morning from state of georgia we've got two people here from georgia we got becky and sharon um where's everybody else from let me know where you're from i'd love to know so what i'm going to do now just as before i'm going to go through the four most recent added spine beads so it's always through four beads so i'll keep this out of the way i don't want to get it this in the way and so i'll go through four beads once more so through those four beads right there, pull that nice and tight. And now what I'm going to do with it on that side is uh, I'll just fold it over again. So just with my little diagram there. Oh, Susan is from Ontario, Canada, Brampton. Wow, so many, such an international crowd. I love uh, how many people are joining in from all over the world. Who's from the UK though? I wanna know who's here from the UK. Jane is from Lincolnshire, good. It's not just um, the international crowd. We do have the locals as well. So I folded that over now. It doesn't matter that this one has come over to this sort of side. It's, uh, it works out nicely that it sort of starts to spin uh, over there. Um, so that's sort of what we want to create. But what we need to do is make sure that we're continually staying to one side. The thing that's interesting is if you want to flip your work in this direction, like how I've been doing, so that you go from this side and flip it that way, you'll give your spiral um, a one sort of sort of counterclockwise spiral. I'll show you the difference. If you flip one way, as long as you do it the same every time, it will give you the same effect. But I'll just show you here with the blue version and with the whoops, here we go, and the copper version. If you flip it the other way, 
it will give you the opposite version of the spire of the flipping of the spiral so you can see here one goes clockwise and the other one goes anti-clockwise so as long as you're consistent one way if you're flipping over um to the to the to the left there it will give you a a clockwise spiral and if you flip it to the right it will give you the anti-clockwise spiral so see that there they both are you can see the sparkle from those micro crystals gorgeous but anyway if you want uh that is a great way if you want to wear you stack them and you can wear two at the same time it looks really really effective if they're spinning in opposite directions so that's something that's interesting to know uh for you there um anastasia is anyone else from africa she's asking do you know what i don't know if there will be i think you're one of a kind to us here anastasia um was it in ghana that you're from Jutas from germany lots of people all over the world um let's see we've got rachel from cumbria good another another uk citizen over here um but yes Sue says, isn't it wonderful that people from all over the world can learn and enjoy this project? Well, I think that's a lovely thing about this. I really enjoy teaching to all of you guys. So thank you all for joining from all over the world. But don't forget, we want to help grow the channel. So the best way to do that, helping me out to grow the channel, is to share the, share the videos, subscribe, all of those sorts of things. Um, but yeah, if you've never been on our website for, before, there's a little link up there in the description that says subscribe for more. So especially if you're new, uh, if you want to subscribe for more, I'll just tell you, I'm just going to continue beading along. So you can just watch. I'll put it into left-handed view for you lefties like me. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to continue while I talk. Um, yeah so if you are from uh, yeah if you if you're new and you want to sign up to our tutorials because you think they're good uh, i mean a lot of people like my diagrams um i put a lot of effort into them and i think this particular one is very beautiful wait till you see one of the diagrams that's coming later you're gonna go wow that looks nice um but yeah if you if you want to be part of the the bead spider community and get yourself onto our mailing list. That's the best way to know what's coming up, what's going to be. Um, ooh, the phone's ringing. Oh dear. Hopefully, someone will answer that. I should. Uh, I could. I. Oh, I could have answered it. That would have been funny. Hello, it's Matthew here. Can I call you back? Um, I, I suppose I should have taken the phone out of here, maybe. So anyway, um, yeah. If you haven't done so already, definitely sign up to our little mailing list there because there's a couple of good reasons the first one you'll know exactly when we are on the uh when we're doing our live videos but secondly the most uh, another fantastic reason to do it you get five pounds worth of our digital patterns so the diagrams that you're seeing up here in the in the top left we do actually have a um a little instruction sheet which uh, is going to be coming with every kit. As always, I'll just pop it at the bottom here as well for those who haven't seen it yet. The kit is on sale, three, any three for 20, uh, 30 pounds. Uh, it does include absolutely everything though. So you get all of the beads, the thread, the needle, everything is included if you grab that little kit. And then if you're getting the any three for 30, you're saving 15%. Um, but yes, if you sign up and become a member, uh, sorry, if you sign up and to our, our newsletter, you will also get five pounds worth of patterns um, to, to buy from our little patterns section on our website. So it's um, a really, really great thing to do if you want to, one, get some of our beading patterns, like that little dress that, uh, that some of the people made um, who sent them in like this little dress that one is one of our patterns that we've got up for free um, if you fancy getting some of our patterns though it is definitely the best way is if you sign up to our little um, members uh, section there because you will also get um, that five pounds worth of patterns included as well so uh, you know hopefully if that's the sort of thing that you fancy, that is um, 
a great way to go about it. And I'll just show you very, very quickly on the Bead Spider website. So this is our home page today, changes every time. This is what I'm demonstrating today. If you have a look here at our kits and tutorials section, just here at the menu, and you click on patterns, go to all patterns, and it will just show you some of the patterns that you can get from our website. So if you're signing up and you get your five pounds worth of patterns, as long as you got five pounds worth of patterns in there, it'll take off a discount. So for example, if you got this one here and this one here, that one's two pounds, that one's three pounds, you'll get five pounds off. So you'll get them both free. But yeah, you can see we got lots and lots of patterns in our little library here. Uh, and more and more coming all the time. This one's really nice, uh, a, a rainbow peyote bracelet. Um, there's a nice rainbow pendant, rainbow earrings. Lots of gorgeous designs. This one's one of our most popular for sure. Uh, the Barclay square necklace there. There's the matching bracelet for it. Look, there's a whole second page of patterns as well. Definitely worth taking a little look if you fancy trying out uh, some of our little goodies. Like I said, it's right there from the Bead Spider homepage, which you can actually watch my tutorial of the dress here, and you can watch last week's tutorial here as well. But if you want to see all the products from today's video, you just click this button and it'll take you to the page where you can get any three for 30. You just click on that and choose the ones that you like. Otherwise, if you only want one or two, you can get them just here. But yeah, like I said, if you do get three, uh, it's fantastic that you can join the clasps together to make a necklace. If you missed that, I did it right at the beginning. Uh, but you can essentially just, if I pop it back onto my screen here, where am I? So, uh, yes, where am I? Here we are. If I just pop that back on the screen, I can join two different color bracelets or necklaces, whichever, together just by uh, bringing the two different magnets together. So I've got my, my silver one here and my, my um, that lovely purple color. And you can just join them together, join another one, and they almost work like little feature beads as well in your design. And then you can wear it as a, as a necklace. What do you guys think of the designs? I want to know who's, uh, which color is your favorite? If you haven't seen, uh, I want to know. Ah, right, Anastasia's from Nigeria, but she lives in Angola. Okay, my mistake. I couldn't remember if it was Ghana or not. Someone here before was from Ghana, I could swear. So maybe there is more than one African. Uh, but yes, so as I said, everyone, it's very important when you're getting back to my demonstration now, um, when you're doing this little um, piece here, you've always got to flip it out of the way so that it doesn't get in the way of your designs. If it does, so for example, if you've got like it essentially it needs to be the the most recent one that you've done is out of the way here and so that you're not between the most recent one and the second most recent one because that's when you create yourself little problems so see there's my most recent one there's the second most recent one if you're in that gap that's not good you need to be between four different ones that are all separate from each other so that you can essentially see the entirety of your spine there. That's what you need when you start um, doing your next little row. So I'll go through four, I'll show you a couple of ways of doing this. You do get a slightly better result if you go through all four little beads like this. So you add this and slide it down, but it can be a little difficult to get this bead to stay in position. I'll show you how I hold it in my hand um, just to make the process a little bit easier for you. Um, here we go. Oh, Susan Susan says she's been making uh, masks for everyone. Her congregation has to wear masks, so she's making 31 masks and customising them, apart from the bride and groom. Oh, at the wedding, yes. So everybody's got to wear them except for the bride and groom, but that's absolutely lovely that you're making them by hand because then it's something that people will be able to keep as well. Um, but that's lovely. Uh, Susan, I'm, uh, I'm, I hope that's going well for you. So anyway, there we go. I'll go through my four beads again. Again, I've got to make sure I'm in the right position. I've moved everything over, pull it down, and then I'll pop that little bead over onto the side. So I'll show you as well how I like to hold this design. Um, Stacey Bailiff says that she's working on our 
uh, our Barclay Square bracelet just now as well. So if you didn't uh, see that one, that was one of the patterns I was talking about when I showed you them on the website there. Stacy is, uh, is making one of the bracelets actually. Um, she says, I just need to add the clasp. Great, fantastic. She's almost finished, wonderful. Uh, so I'll show you how I hold this little design. Once you get a bit started, it's easier to hold it. But essentially, if you can hold it like this, I'll keep my finger out the way, but usually I'd press my thumb on it to keep it there. But I like to have my index finger here and my thread nice and taut tight and holding it in place with my middle finger there. So it might look a little bit awkward, but it means you can keep your thread super firm because interestingly, you get quite a different effect based on how firm your tension is. So if you've got a really firm tension, I did this one with a super firm tension, you can see how um, defined that little spiral comes out to be. It looks super effective, doesn't it? So that is really important about having a good tension where if your tension is a little bit looser, it's still fairly defined, but see how there's little spaces between the beads? So they do sit a little bit more comfortably on your wrist. It is a bit of a personal preference thing on how you do that. But the firmer your tension, the closer that the beads will stay to each other. So see how if I, if I, when your tension's a little bit softer, you can move them around. It'll give it extra fluidity to move, but you can sort of see that spine sometimes coming through. So like I said, if you can keep your tension nice and firm, it keeps the beads really close together like that, see? So that you really can see that, um, that effect coming together. So I'll do it in my hand so I can see, so I can show you. I've added on my size eight bead here. Um, wow, Susan is going to be busy. So she's saying that her the wedding that she's making all of these COVID masks for, she's commenting over on YouTube. If you are on Facebook, you can also watch all of our tutorials on YouTube as well, like Susan is and Sue and Jermaine and Rachel, lots and lots of people over on YouTube as well. Um, if you want to watch on YouTube, you can see the conversation there. I know some people jump over and look on both so that they can really be part of the conversation. Um, also, good morning to Nancy. She's just, uh, she messaged in a little bit and I almost missed that one. So good morning to Nancy. Thanks for watching. Um, so yes, I'll just keep going, but you can see now how I like to hold my design so that it stays super duper firm. I've got my tension really, really firm just there. And then I'll go through all four beads like this, just like that there. So that one is keeping my thread nice and nice and super duper firm. And then I can pull, pull, pull all the way up until it's in position. And then I'll just let it go at the last second, get it in position and then pull nice and tight. And I pull on that little size eight seed bead as well. I'll pull that down really, really firm and then I'll flip it over to the side. So now I've got it really, really tight again, and then I hold it sort of with my thumb pushing down this way, and this index finger sort of holding the thread really, really firmly. I'll do a few more. I'll pop it back into right-handed view, shall I? Um, here we go. Let's just pop that over. But yeah, the nice thing about this design is just how beautiful the beads that you get and how much added sparkle you get from using the micro crystals micro crystals by the way oh i i was gonna wait i think i've got a little thing just here wait a minute i've got a coupon code for you americans uh so if you're in the uk if you are ordering from us because we do have a lot of colors of micro crystals i'll just show you them on the website real quick actually uh let's just see if i can show you here we go i'll show you them really quick quickly and then as i said i've got a coupon code for you in north america for free shipping if you're buying just micro crystals though because it's sort of weight dependent we want you to have a go at micro crystals so you can get free shipping if you're buying my just just micro crystals and nothing else so uh these are the micro crystals here if you click on this little button here we've got two tutorial videos that you can see them in action but if you click on here it'll show you our full color range of beads here so we've got lots and lots of different colors a whole rainbow assortment of those micro crystal seed beads right there 
See, look, lots and lots of beautiful colors to, to use. There's a whole second page of them here. But as I said, they are the exact same size as your your seed beads as well. So um, you can see on the left there, you've got Preciosa seed beads. There's also Toho seed beads there just beside in the blue and your Mayuki size 11. So the Preciosa, it's a size 10. The sizing structure from the Czech made seed beads is a little bit different to that of your, um, of your Japanese made seed beads. But if you, um, take a little look at that, you, you'll see that you can in fact get your, uh, they're, they're all the same size there. So it's definitely worth um, trying them out just because there's so many different things that you can do with them. Like netting, they're not so good for peyote because they've got those faceted edges, but for netting stitches, things like this, spirals and whatnot, they're fantastic. And as I said, for you in the US, if you use this code, give me micro USA. It also works in Canada as well. If you spend 30 pounds or more uh, exclusively on micro crystals, so no other products, unfortunately, because of weight restrictions, um, use that code there. Give me micro USA, no spaces, and you will get um, free shipping on your on your micro crystals doesn't matter how many you get as long as you're spending 30 pounds or more you can get one of every color if you wanted to it doesn't matter you'll still get free shipping so let's press on with my little um in my uh tutorial here there's one other way that i'm going to show you that will make the um Seema asks, what size are the micro crystals? They are exactly the same size as seed beads. So a size 11 seed bead, I think it's it's like one by 1.6 millimeters or something like that. Um, it's essentially the same size as a size 11 seed bead. So if you work with Mayuki or Toho or Preciosa, uh, Mayuki or Toho, it's the same as a size 11. Preciosa, which is what I like to use, uh, same as a size 10. Um, so that's why, wait a minute, let's just go back to the size comparison. There you go, you can see size 10 Preciosa, size 11 Toho, and size 11 Mayuki, exactly the same size as the Aurora Micro Crystals, all of them in there. So, um, yes, let's press on a little, and I'll just show you one other way that I like to do this design. It's not as easy to get as firm as a tension, but if it's your very first time making a beaded spiral like this one, it can make the process a little bit easier for you if you do it like this. So I'll just get my thread back in my hand here. So I'll hold it in the same way, but instead of doing it in two steps, you can do it in one. So this time I've thread on all of my beads together, so my size eight, and then all of the beads that are for the loop, I've got them all in there together. So essentially, uh, you, uh, you thread them all at once, and then what you're going to do is, let me just get myself nicely central, pick them all up and you do them all at the same time. So if you're doing it at the same time, this is ever so slightly different way of doing it. If you want to make the process a tiny bit easier for yourself, I go through first just the three seed beads because we're going to add this fourth one in a second. You go through just these first three seed beads, pull it nice and firm, nice and tight, get it in position, get it out the way. And then you can see, you've got to remember, you need to go through that last little bead as well, so that you're going through four beads in the spine. So as always, you can pick that one up. This one, as I said, it is a little bit more difficult to get that super firm tension, but it's a lot easier in terms of getting the work done. So you can pull that, pull on your little beads, pull on everything as tight as you can, and now you're in position. So I'll do it once more just to sort of clarify what I was talking about. I pick up a size eight first, and then I'll pick up all of the beads on a loop. This is just another way that you can do it. Rather than doing it in two steps, you can do it in the one step. The, the tension's not quite as good. So you can see I've got my eight, my tens, everything is, is all in there. I'll just get a bit more central for you. Um, 
Vicky says, hi, Matthew, I'm enjoying your live stream on your website. She's watching from the web stripe because we do also you can watch it. YouTube, Facebook, all of these things. Um, Vivian, I just placed my order three for 30. Can't wait to get started. Thank you for that, Vivian. I'm glad you've done that. I'm sure you're going to love it. But wait until you try these beads, because this is the most the the, the, the best thing. It's quite a, a the a basic little technique that I'm showing you guys, but it's all about the beads in this one. When it comes to doing jewelry making, I'm sort of of the ethos that if you buy beautiful beads, one, you'll make beautiful things for sure, but if because beads don't expire, they don't go bad, they're not going to end up going off or anything like that. If you decide you don't like your design anymore, your beads will last a lot better, a lot longer. That's why we've got the um, the the check made glass pearls for you today because they are re a lot more resistant to to damaging, but they absolutely look fantastic. Um, as I said, if you've got better quality beads, not just something that's, I don't know, just like totally rock, like just cheap and like you, this is sort of the, the mistake that people make is that they, they go, when you're first starting out with jewelry making, you go, oh, I'm going to buy myself all of these beads, but I don't want to buy anything that's too nice because if it's no good, you know, um, I'll have wasted the beads. But that's not how it works with bead making. Even if you decide, oh, I don't like that anymore, you can always come back and sort of make yourself a lovely new design with those beads that you first bought. So as long as you've got good quality, beautiful beads, it's not a problem at all if you haven't made your best design ever the very first time, because you can just reuse your beads. You can even remake the design that you made first, like a beginner. It's not like knitting where once it's knitted, if you want to use that thread again, it's all kinked or anything like that. The beads are just as good as ever when they when you cut up your your design again. So as long as you're you're not buying beads that are just like totally rubbish or anything, you can reuse them again and again and again. And that's why it's Jermaine's ethos that when we're buying beads, we would only ever buy things that she would personally use because, uh, you know, there's there's not so nice exactly if you're uh, if you're you've spent all this time doing hard work and it doesn't quite come out looking so good because the beads all deteriorate. Um, Susan asks. Matthew, do you know how much 30 pounds is in Canadian dollars? Let me just have a quick look. I'll just Google it for you real quick. So 30 GBP in CAD is, it's about $50. Uh, the exchange rate, I think the, the uh, yes, the, the, the pound has just gotten a little bit stronger over the last few days. Uh, so it's about 50 Canadian dollars in US dollars. Let's have a look. Um, US dollars, that works out at 38 US dollars. So 30 pounds in in, in the UK, uh, for you in the US, that's about $30. Uh, 30, 30 pounds is $38. Um, or if you Canadian dollars, it's about 50, 50 Canadian dollars. Um, so let's press on what do you guys think about my my little piece it's coming together really nicely quite quickly isn't it once you get the hang of it and you just sort of sit there they do really sort of look fantastic don't they um i'll just do a couple more and then i'm going to jump ahead and show you how to do the clasp section because obviously you don't want to just keep seeing me do this little same repetition over and over and over i've given you a few good tips on ways that you can do it um have i got it in left-handed view or have i got it in right-handed view let's See, I've got it in right-handed view. I'll keep it in right-handed for a little bit. But as I've said, if you fancy, whoops, get my thread nice and tight again. Uh, I'll pop it into left-handed view for the last few. But yeah, so one last time, the technique, if you want to prefer doing it all in one go, you go through three beads in the spine, pull that super duper tight, and then go through that one bead at the end. And then I'll just show you once more the other way that you can do it. I'll show you guys as well. Don't forget, there are seven different colors. So 
if you want to do like the necklace sort of design, just choose three of the same color or maybe two colors that complement each other really nicely. And you can do the necklace sort of like that. So like I said, um, I'll show you. If you've got like the brown and this ivory sort of color, they look, this ivory looks so spectacular. If I zoom out, it looks a little bit better, I think. Um, so Becky says, any idea on the shipping fees to the US for three for 38? Becky, um, when we're, if you're placing an order that's got other things in it, so not just the micro crystals with that coupon code, uh, which I guess I should show you it once more, just in case you missed it, write it down, write this down if you intend to get some micro crystals, because if I don't show it again, you might miss it. Give me micro USA, it works in the US and Canada. Um, don't miss out. I think if you're in Europe as well, by the way, Germany, France, etc., it's just give me micro. I think that's working too. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Um, just, you know, check that out. But anyway, uh, Becky, if you're getting this kit, anytime you order from us at Bead Spider to the US, you only ever pay £6.50 for postage. So even if your order was for nine of these kits you'd still only pay six pounds fifty for shipping if you got three of them you'll pay six pounds fifty for shipping if you get six of them six pounds fifty for shipping if you get micro crystals as well six pounds fifty for shipping whatever it is that you want to order from us six pounds fifty for shipping um so sharon how many micro crystals are needed on a normal size bracelet one strand one strand is enough you get about 200 um Stacy asks, how long is the code going to be good for? Thus far, forever. I don't intend to turn it off. Uh, it's just something that I'm going to have on in general forever. So if ever you want to use it and you want to get just micro crystals, that code is good forever. Thus far. I might change it, but, um, you know, at the minute, uh, it'll be give me micro USA. I th I'm thinking I might change it to just give me micro. Uh, so if give me micro doesn't work. Oh yeah, Jermaine's telling me it's 650 unless you want tracked and signed. Because uh, yes, the the 650 doesn't include tracking. Uh, yes, I'll just do this step one more time. I'll show you the other way because I showed you it the the way of going through three and then one. The other way is to you just do it where you go through the one first. You slide that down to the beginning so that you've got your one extra bead and then hold that in position. When you put on your seed bead, your micro crystal, your pearl there, one more micro crystal, and one more seed bead. And then you go through all four beads in your core one last time, slide that up through all four. That's the other way to do it. Um, Seema, how much is shipping to India? So, um, if you, oh, by the way, Seema, yes, we sent you an email recently because you placed an order with us. We sent you an email. I'm not sure if it was, it was the email that you placed the order with. So check the email that you placed an order with because we send, if you're international, we send you a little invoice. So um, if you're outside of Europe the, and North America, we invoice you for shipping. So depending on how much you spend essentially is exactly how much you get for your your shipping we go okay we weigh it we package it we make sure everything is all worked out for the size and the cost and everything like that um and then we weigh it up and ship it to you and and send you a little invoice for the exact amount of the the cost of the shipping so if you place a small order you'll only get a small shipping fee like um uh, but if you place a bigger order, then, of course, the, the shipping fee goes up a little bit and depends as well. You can also choose whether you want it just standard shipping or if you want it tracked or, you know, anything like that. We do give you the option when you get to check out. Um, it's all right there and available as well. So uh, we try and do it. We want everybody to get as much bang for their buck and you don't want to be paying all that much for shipping so we try and subsidize it if you're in the US or in Canada or um, or in Europe and especially if you're in the UK if you're spending 10 pounds in the UK you get free shipping uh, as long as you're a member on our website uh, but yes if you are international it will uh, we invoice you so you get exactly what you want to pay uh, for what you're what you're buying um, so if we just fast forward now and you pretend, let's just zoom out a teeny weeny bit, pretend that you've got your design completed now 
And there it is. There's that lovely one that I've just been making in that perfect spiral. Uh, there it is there. So if we want to put on our little clasp, I'm going to show you. There's the little clasp just there. I'm going to show you how you do that. Um, are you guys enjoying my tutorial today? Um, it's uh, I'm having a lot of fun doing this one. I, I really like this design just because of how simple the 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 design is to to make. It's so easy, isn't it? And it just looks super effective, doesn't it? But anyway, I'm going to demonstrate the adding of the clasp with this gorgeous rosy red color. I think it is absolutely stunning and it matches really nicely to skin tones as well. It looks a little bit more saturated than it is in real life. In real life, they're all really beautiful, like desaturated pastel colors. Um, see, there's the, the blue one there, for example, uh, a really lovely blue one that you, that you make. Um, again, as I said, the, the colors are really desaturated. Kelly says, I bet your tea is cold. Do you know what, Kelly? If you were a betting woman, you'd be making money off that one. Um, the copper color, I absolutely adore as well. Um, you know, if you've got darker skin, this would look absolutely gorgeous. Um, or like a, a yellowier toned skin, this one's lovely. Um, we do also have, this one for sure is going to be popular. Uh, the, the silver lilac color, or is it called lavender? I can't remember. Uh, this one is gorgeous as well. If purples is the one for you, uh, that's this one here. The creamy tone, again, it looks, it looks too vibrant. I don't know why, but they're really sort of muted tones, really beautiful pastels uh, that look Fantastic. Sada Bahar says, we call it pistachio green, lovely pastel shade. Well, funnily, funny you say that. That is exactly the name of this colorway. We've called this one, I ah, kicked the camera, sorry about that. We've called this one pastel. Um, we called it um, pistachio. And then lastly, this one, it goes with everything, your, your sort of monochrome gray tones. Um, that one, again, it's another beautiful little colorway um, set just there. That looks fantastic. And because it's sort of those blacks and grays, uh, it kind of just goes with anything. It doesn't matter what you're wearing. Uh, it'll look fantastic. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you how to do the clasp section, shall I? So just say, yeah, I've made this one now. It's all done and dusted, finished, ready to add on our clasp. So this is a very easy little process. I just realized I don't have the seed beads for it. Um, have I got some seed beads floating around? I need some for this colorway. Forget about that one. But anyway, this particular one, I'll just show you very, very quickly. It has a gorgeous copper lined size eight seed bead in there, but it also has this fantastic sort of corally colored seed bead that matches the tone of your your red. I might have to use my green seed beads, unfortunately, because I can't find my red ones. They're hiding from me. Here, yeah, little seed bead, seed bead, seed bead, where are you? Oh, ah, here we go. Uh, I've got some just here. Here we are. Let's just grab them. So, yeah, you go there. You can see it. It's that really beautiful sort of salmon-y color that I use. Um, in that one um, and then I'll just show you as well this is a beautiful rose gold color for your micro crystal that you get there's my last few little ones that I've got leftovers if I wanted to make it longer or even longer um, Ilona Kazoma says thank you well thank you Ilona thanks for watching especially and then lastly there this is that copper lined uh, size 8 seed bead. It's like a clear and then it has like a copper filament through the center. They look gorgeous. But anyway, I'll just grab myself out a few seed beads. I don't need very many. And I'm going to add on my little beaded clasp at the end here. So this is a, a beautiful magnetic clasp. As I said, it is super strong. Look at that. I'll put it down on the table. Let's see how far away it'll be when it starts to take it away. Ready? Come on now. Look at that. It's at least an inch away. Super strong magnets. Super, super strong. Um, oh, Azra again. Great. So Azra's over on YouTube and on Facebook. We've got so many people watching on both. 
that's great. Don't forget, guys, like, share, subscribe, all of that, all of that. I, I'll love you forever. I'll be your best friend. Um, so now that I'm going to add on my clasp, let me just show you the next little instruction. I tell you, I'm very proud of my instructions. I do the artworks myself. So if you are looking at the instructions and you go, wow, these diagrams are so clear, that uh, is my handiwork uh, in action there. So anyway, there's the. this is pretty much where we want to be at now that we've finished. So if you have a little look, there's my little spiral section. There we go. And I'm coming out the middle of my last size eight seed bead here. So here's my size eight seed bead that I'm coming out of in the center of the core. Let's get a little closer so you can see. Exactly the same as my, my little artwork just up here on the left there. So um, yes, let's see. Let's just get my little thread and it's time to add on my clasp. So as always, I am using Spidalon thread. Oh, by the way, exciting news, exciting, exciting news. We just had a shipment come in um, today, in fact, just this morning, about half an hour before I started my stream. I've got new colors of Spidalon thread coming. So I think we've got about maybe six or seven new colors of the, the Spidalon thread that I love using. It is the best. When it comes to thread, it's the best. Who here has used comment, uh, has used Spidalon? Comment in if you've used it and tell me, do you agree? Is it the best thread you've used? Let me know because that's the best way for you guys who haven't used it before to know is you who are watching what do you think of spider on thread? Let me know. Comment it in. Give it a give it a review right here for everybody to see. Um, I'm confident. I'm confident enough. But anyway, new colors of spider on thread, and also very exciting news. I know that we've got 160 colors of Delica beads on the website already, but I couldn't resist. I've got another 50 colors coming. More, I think. More. There's 170 colors now but there's going to be another 50 or more coming in the next week or two so if you're a delica bead fan and you like using delica beads we're going to have about 220 colors soon so um don't miss out on that so with my thread coming out i've got my thread on uh my needle here so i'm coming out just exactly the same as my little diagram here just like that there and i'm ready to start attaching my my little clasp section so what i'm going to do essentially i've got it all as one diagram as one big fat step there so hopefully maybe i'll make it a little bigger for you shall i let's just make this one a teeny weeny bit bigger so that we can see it just briefly so there you go so what i'm going to do if you have a look i'm going to pick up two seed beads two little seed beads pick them up i'm going to go through my clasp just one side of it. I'll put one side away for now. Go through my clasp like that. And I'm going to pick up two more little seed beads just here. There we go. So two more seed beads. So I've got my four, two seed beads, one clasp, oops, and two seed beads. And I'm going to just slide that down all the way to my little size eight seed bead here at the very, very end. In my diagram, you can see there, um, ah, Susan Philcox, yes, don't worry, I'll keep an eye out for your order. She said she's just ordered three kits, one, bl one, one blue and two lavender, but she wants three lavender. Don't worry, Susan. I will update that for you. No problem. Speaking of which, I think I might have to add extra stock already. They are flying out. I'm going to have to just check. I don't know if I've put enough stock on already. We do have plenty to make more, but I'll add more stock. Um, if any seem to go out of stock, don't worry. They'll be back very, very soon. I'll add more now. Uh, but anyway, so as you see in my little diagram, uh, just here, I'm going to go through my core beads. One, two, I've just moved them out the way so that we can see what we're doing. Usually it would sit kind of covered, I guess, a bit like this. And what I'm going to do 
is go, I'll get so I can see all five. I'm going to go down one, two, three, four, five beads. Whoops, just move over a teensy weensy bit just here. Susan says, thank you. No problem. Don't worry about it. Um, so yeah, go through five of those little core beads. So you can see in the diagram, I go through two and then there's three which are hidden underneath your spiral. I'll go down those two, pull it nice and firm. So it creates this little loop at the top. Let's zoom in a teeny weeny bit more. Don't think my instruction needs to be quite so big anymore. You've got the idea. And what I'm going to do now is the, the little loop that comes out of this fifth bead. One, two, three, four, fifth bead here. Uh, where are you, my little friend? Is Ah, there it is. It's around this other side. Let's just come around. You find the bead that's coming out of that little loop just there. So where are you? Here we go. It's the second one from the top. So it's this little loop just here. So this one, if we have a look, here's my fifth bead. There's a loop around that one just there. So we go one, two, three, four, five. We want to go up those beads there. And this will help us come back to the beginning so that we can go through our beads again to make sure that they're on extra firm, our clasp. So I'll pull my needle through there. Pull, 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 pull. Whoops, getting a bit tangled here. Pull that up and then go through these beads as well, the last two. And then this brings me into position to go underneath and through that extra little core size eight seed bead just there. So now if I pull that, it brings my thread all the way back round and into position to go through my clasp section again. So I can take my thread and I can secure this little clasp, go through there once more. Go back down here and back through the size eight once more. And I'll continue, I'll do exactly the same again. If you want to, to get more goes out of it, you can go down the sixth one, down to the sixth and up the third loop and so forth. Um, because the, the pearls have a slightly smaller hole, but, um, so you might not be able to get through them as many times, but I uh, should be able to get through it at least another time. Here we go, through there, and then pull my little needle through. There we are, get that nice and firm, keep everything, keep my thread out the way, pull, pull, pull. And I'm gonna just continue, whoops, I should be holding this in my hand so I can, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So then I'll go through these two again, Both uh, Azra and Sue are saying Matthew's diagrams are very helpful while I'm trying to stitch a new project. Well, I'm glad that they work for you guys. Um, but yeah, those are the sorts of quality that you can expect from any of our beading patterns that you get from the Bead Spider website. So like I said, um, if you haven't got the... Uh... Ooh, there we go through there. Yeah, if you haven't got... If you're not on the Bead Spider mailing list, uh, getting our newsletter, sign up today and you'll get five pounds, uh, a five pound voucher to spend on any of our digital patterns. So you get five pounds to spend on any patterns that you fancy. Uh, I'll just go down here once more so that it's extra secure one last time. Uh, and then uh, essentially we just repeat the same process on the other side. So I'll do that as well. Finish that off. Uh, now, there we go. Pull, pull, pull. And essentially, when we're ready to finish off, we can just take this little piece, take our thread through my core, tie some little beading knots uh, to secure everything and get them all finished. Um, now, don't forget, guys, I know a lot of you already know, but I'll just show you very, very quickly one last time. Any three kits for £20. So if you like them, uh, definitely do get that kit. It's more than 15% off if you do that. Uh, so head to the link in the description if you fancy getting those kits. Um, Sharon asks, will you be stocking Delica bead number 200 chalk white? I can't find them anywhere. 
I'm not sure if that's one that we've got at the minute. Um, as you said, I have a feeling they might be a very difficult color to get. We used to have one that was similar, but I'm not sure if we've got the chalk white coming. Perchance, I'll have a look though, maybe next time, uh, if not. So anyway, weave down, tie and thread off, and then we'll repeat the same process on the opposite side. So I'm not gonna tie it off yet. I'll do it on the other side. So we come to the opposite end. We take our second side of our clasp. I'll take off my little stopper bead just here. There we go. Oops, dropped him. He's hiding. Here we go. Take off my stopper bead. Get that back in screen. Let me just readjust my camera. It's a bit wonky all of a sudden. There we go. There's my little bead there. I've taken off my stopper. I'll just pop my needle back on. There we go, get that through there. As you can see, using spider on the thread never frays. No one commented in giving me a review. I wanted one. I'm sad. No one no one did me a favor. Oh well. Um so yes, now again, same process. Pick up my two beads, pick up the other side of my clasp, pick up two beads, and then down through the first five core beads so that I can loop back around and up through my second one. So if I just move everything out the way, you can see this is the, the second one. This one's the, the one closest to the end. This one is second closest to the end. So I'll go down through these five beads here, like so. Pull that nice and tight. Pull, pull, pull. Hold my little clasp so I can pull against it. There we go. That's a great way to get a strong tension is if you hold what you're pulling against, pull one against the other. There we go. And now I'll go down this second little loop here. One. Come on now. One, two, three. Ooh, I just remembered I've got more live pictures to show. That's fun. I only showed two so far. I got lots to show. Pull, pull, pull. Go through these two here again up that last little size eight C bead. So I'll get my hand out the way so you can see what I'm doing in just a second. Once my needle's in position, there we go. Ugh, just popped it out. I've got my tension so firm, it doesn't wanna go through my core. There we go. Oops. And then pull, pull, pull. And I'm back in position now to go through my little clasp section once more to make sure that's extra secure. So I'll just go through it. I won't do the whole weaving process once more. And then I'll tie that off. If you can, the more times you go through the clasp, the stronger it's going to be. Um, ah, okay. So Sharon, we don't have color number 200, but we do have 201 and 202, which is pearl white rather than the uh, chalk white. Close, but maybe not exactly the same, but similar, I would say. So down through those two beads and through that end size eight and into the core line screen. Yes, that would have been a shame if I hadn't been. Let's pop that into the center a bit more. There we go. And I'll just come out a bit further down into the core and I'll tie off this thread just to show you very quickly how you do that. So the one way that you tie it off, I quite like doing it this way, is you try and keep your little twisted, your cores out of the way and then you go underneath the thread here so that you're essentially going directly underneath there we go like that so underneath the core you can see the two threads there in the center i'm going underneath that core try not to go through any of the loops or anything pull that up and then see how it creates this loop at the bottom you go through that loop and then when you pull it, just keep it nice and close. Don't let it get tangled on anything. And then pull. And there's a nice little knot, tight and ready to go. And 
up through a few more core beads and you just repeat that process a few more times just sort of try and wiggle it around so that you can see the core beads nice and easily oops a bit out of screen there sorry go through a few more core beads loop under the thread that goes through those core beads in the center creates a little loop just here so we go through that loop Pull it tight, don't get it tangled on anything. Pull, pull, pull. There we go. And then continue doing our core, and you can cut it off whenever you're ready, once you've done enough. And essentially, that will, I just get my little snips. You've gotta be super careful with this process, because you don't wanna cut any of your loops. There we go, just cut that. And then, ta-da, one beautiful, finished bracelet right there and a lovely strong clasp attached as well so there you go you can see that looks absolutely gorgeous what do you think well, ladies and gentlemen what do we think vicky allison spider on is a nice fine thread but sometimes i like a stiffer thread fair enough um well with the spider on vicky wax it then uh, i know it comes bonded already so that it doesn't need waxing but if you want it to be that little bit stiffer uh, either use a slightly thicker weight of it or uh, just give it a bit of a waxing that will give you a nice difference but there you go how does that look ladies and gentlemen and then as I said to you um, because I've always turned mine I flip mine always to the right uh, you can always flip yours to the left and you'll see that your beads will go the opposite direction to my ones see that so one spirals in a nice helix this way and the other one corkscrews the other way so isn't that uh, a nice little little sort of effect that you get there so essentially that is the entirety of that little design and then if i zoom out real quick i'll just show you especially with the any three for uh 30 discount that you get there pearls make that look fantastic don't they if you've got some either you get three that match all together three the same so three purple ones or what i quite like is if you wanted to get three that are sort of rainbowed matching each other sort of quite nicely like for example the 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 rose one i've just done uh vivi Vivi Garcia, hello from Peru. Amazing. Thanks for joining us, Vivi. Um, again, if you're brand new, uh, there's a little link up there in the... So if you're on Facebook, the, the description's up there. If you're on YouTube, it's down there. There's a little thing to um, subscribe for more patterns and tutorials, just like this one. You get a free £5 voucher for any of our beading patterns. So, uh, as I said, if you want to just... Oops click them together it almost looks like a little beaded feature but it makes a oops that one there that one there and then there you go you've got a let's zoom out shall we you can have it as a necklace there you go look at that and it's kind of fun let's change this one for the purple even shall we just to, you can even go yeah today i feel like having purple let's go with the purple oops connects this side and this one connects over here and then there you go and you can go great now i want to have the red section at the front maybe today i'll have the purple section at the front maybe tomorrow i'll have the brown section at the front whichever way you want to wear it it makes a really nice necklace uh maria mitchison uh higman simpson that is a mouthful of a name thank you for joining um it's a bit of a tongue twister that's a good one um but yes thank you for joining maria i hope you've been enjoying my tutorial guys uh but yeah there you go there's a full necklace i'll just show you on the website very very quickly everything um one last time because then i think we're pretty much done aren't we so let's just have a quick look over here so this is the bead spider homepage. if you don't know where that is the little um where am i no this way I've got it flipped still. So uh, here we are. If you head to the Bead Spider website, which the link is at the bottom just here, beadspider.co.uk, that will take you to the Bead Spider homepage, which is this one right here. If you want to see last week's show, so last Friday, this one's been really popular. It's been watched already on YouTube. I don't know the statistics on Facebook, but 
Uh, between you all, you've watched over 10,000 minutes of this tutorial. Uh, that's what the statistics tell me. Our YouTube channel is becoming massive. It's really, really growing, and that's thanks to all of you guys. I'm so thankful to all of you. But anyway, if you want to watch that tutorial, you can just click there. Um, this sale is ending, so I've just clicked this button here. This sale is ending this weekend um, on Sunday. We've got our bead weaving super kit. It's um, on discount at the minute, so I think it's 10% off there, but you get our bead weaving uh, project CD is included. You get the bead weaving DVD. It's also included, so you get those as well. They are included. You don't need to buy them separate if, you, uh, if you're buying the kit, but we got lots of different colors, but I'll just show you if I can. There's loads of different beautiful designs that you will learn from that little kit just there. Lots and lots of different goodies. All of these designs, you learn them all. You learn every single last one of them. All of them. Uh, this is pretty much the similar to what I've been teaching you today. All of these designs are in that little kit. Uh, but then if you have a little look, there's lots of colors. There's Moroccan gold, emerald shimmer, royal purple, silver rose, French blue. But just here you get some of our Aurora, uh, Aurora crystal beads. There's some four mil bicones. You've got size uh, three different colors of uh, four different colors of seed beads there. No, three colors of seed beads, twin beads. You've got silky beads and you've got daggers so that you can make all sorts of different ones. There's the teal color that I demonstrated with. That one is gorgeous. Um, there's the purple. I love the purple because the purple has this beautiful fuming on it. Um, silver rose, that one was the most popular. And then there's a French blue, which also looks absolutely fantastic. That was last week's. Um, we do also have this week's here. If you click on the Twisted Spiral bracelet or click the link up there in the description, that will take you to this page just here where you can get the kit. So you can see these are the seven different colorways all just here. Perfectly fits on screen. So you've got the, the soft lavender, the blue lace, the pistachio, the classic ivory, bronze goddess, the old rose, and the satin silver. So you can see the difference in how much less saturated the actual finished piece is. This is a more accurate photograph than my demonstration. The, the lighting's potentially not quite showing, uh, I don't know, how pastel and beautiful they are. Or if you want to get any three for 30, the kits do include absolutely everything. So all the thread, needle, beads, everything is there. Um, but yes, have a little look just here. You just choose the three that you like. So if you want three the same so that you can do the, the little necklace type thing that I've got here, choose three the same, choose three that you want to mix and match. And then all you got to do is just click. I'll say, yeah, I'll add a lavender. Um, I'll add a blue lace. I love the blue lace. Blue lace looks gorgeous, I think. And then a pistachio, which is Maxine's favorite. You come on down and you just hit add to basket. Add it to your basket. Blam. You get it 30 pounds, the three colors that you like best. And then if you want to, you can add three more if you want. So if you wanted to do three necklaces, like um, I think it was Susan, she said she got three soft lavender. If you want to get three blue, you can do it again. So you just take out the ones that you added and add in, yeah, I want, I want to make a bronze set. So you go three of them, add that to basket, and that will add a second set for three. So that, again, you'll save your discount on that. You get full instructions, needle, thread, absolutely everything that you're going to need. All of it is included. But also, whoops, wrong bit, uh, on that same page, if you fancy, we've got satin pearls individually. We've got spider little thread there. Some of our micro crystals, just some of the... I don't know, 60 or 70 colors that we do are there. Uh, and then we've got some seed beads as well. There's um, all of our size 10s and whatnot. But as I said, you get everything included in the kit. But if you want to get your own, you can get them from that page right there. And lastly, it's always good to show you because I know you guys love the tutorials that I've been doing. Thank you very much for all of the praise. Uh, we get so many comments on our, on our YouTube channel as well. Um, but yeah, if you go to our video tutorials page, you can watch any of these tutorials. So even the one that I did today, click on here that you can watch today's tutorial on demand later if you don't have time now. Uh, but yeah, last week, the week before, 
If you go back a bit further, these are all live videos that I've done. So they're quite long watching them live. But otherwise, if you go back a bit further, you just click load more here at the bottom um, and you can watch. There's uh, Jermaine's Express versions, I suppose, uh, is the best way of a lot of our designs. So I've done live videos on some of them, but you can you can watch the, 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 the sped up version, for example, on Jermaine's tutorial. So if we have a look. For example, if you love the, the live style, um, this Peyote Bugle chain bracelet is just here. This was my live video. But if you'd rather just sort of jump straight into the action or if you prefer Jermaine's beating teaching technique, you can watch the Peyote Bugle video. Part one shows you how to do the symbol or part two and click on that and that will show you how to do the double wrap. But they're much shorter videos um, that Jermaine does if you fancy watching those instead so our tutorial library there's lots of techniques as well so you look here's the techniques section um and then yeah you just keep loading more and there's lots of techniques look beading stitches as well lots and lots and lots of different things um on there for you to watch but as i said that is all from our little menu here um and as I'll just bring you back to the Bead Spider homepage, one last thing I'll show you. I know I've been blabbering for quite some time. I'm trying to spit it all out as quickly as possible so that I can uh, show you people's little pictures that they've been sending. But yes, if you want to get some micro crystals, I did show you the um, the code here. I'll show it once more. Give me micro USA if you're in the US. I think if you're in Europe, you can just type give me micro. It should work. If it doesn't, I'm going to make sure it does in about 10 minutes time. Um, for free shipping on the micro crystals, which, uh, as I said, whoops, are the same size as your seed beads, and they really, really sparkle. Um, I'll just show them on the screen how sparkly they really are. Uh, where am I? Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much everything that you need to know from the website. Let's get me back on the screen. I want to see everybody's comments again. Where are they all? There we go. Um, so, um, Maria, yes, we're in the UK. We're in uh, Chapman, actually. Uh, but yes, let me just show you all of those microcrystals once more, the effect that you get from using microcrystals, because, I mean, you just don't understand how amazing it is until you see it, really. Okay, here we go. Uh, but yes, I'm trying to be quick. No more blathering on. I'm sure you've had enough. Um, Colleen Cruz came across you randomly on Facebook tonight. Just put in an order. Your tutorial was fantastic and clear. I cannot wait to learn some more patterns. Thank you, Colleen. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. That is a glowing review. I'm so happy that you've um, that you've enjoyed my tutorial. Um, so there you go. You can see there are some of the micro crystals. This is the metallic. Uh, I think it's the metallic copper, possibly. Uh, Maria, if you're in the UK, uh, I think you said you were, I can't remember, but if you are, if you become a member on our website, which is completely free, it's at the top, um, you get free shipping if you spend over £10. Uh, but yeah, so there you go, look at that. That's one colour. If you're more of a pink lover, there's the slightly less metallic-y looking beads just here. These are transparent, AB coated like a, a really lovely pink but if i bring it a bit closer look at them they're crazy they're so sparkly it's unreal but yeah just imagine what that would do uh jermaine says i like crispy onions what are you talking about i have a feeling i should be reading the comments over on youtube they're talking about crispy onions what's going on um here we go Oh, right, Azra, I was so engrossed in watching, I totally forgot I left onions frying very low on the oven. Uh, they've turned a charcoal colour. Oh, no, you, never mind, your tutorial was more valuable. Word count restricted. Oh, okay. Uh, but yes, there you go. There's the last of those colours. Don't they look spectacular? I love them. So, time for me to show you guys the... Uh, some of the pictures that people have been sending in as well. Um, I know that's a lot of people's favorites. If you haven't done this before, send us your pictures to live at beadspider.co.uk and I will try and get you featured on the show. Um, so we've had, let's just tilt me up a teeny weeny tiny bit more. Um, 
let's see. So we've had a couple more that got sent in at the beginning um, that I never got around to showing. Sharon Brown, been very busy, my sweet angel. Sharon always watches. She's here. She's one of our regulars. Um, but thank you so much uh, for sending that in, Sharon, but also for being one of our valued viewers. Um, she's over there on Facebook, and it says she's a top fan. She literally, we've got quite a few of you. Kelly McCoy, she's another one. She watches absolutely every tutorial. Um, Evelyn Johnson as well. She's always here right at the beginning, 10 minutes early. Uh, but yeah, that's a quick shout out to you guys. But Sharon Brown, they look gorgeous, those little angels. I love them. Um, Vivian Powell, Matthew, I want to purchase some crystals. Do you discount these two? Vivian, why don't you send us an email um, about that or send us a private message on Facebook and we can discuss that with you. Um, I'll get someone to chat with you about that. Vivian Powell, uh, send us a private message to our page and we can we can see what we can do about that for you. If you're a designer or something like that, you know, wholesale, we do we do, do those sorts of things. Uh, Wayne Wiley, he has been busy. Really enjoyed watching Jermaine demonstrate. Because um, if you didn't see that, Jermaine demonstrated the other day. Uh, really enjoyed watching Jermaine demonstrate the bracelet and then being able to make it once I had done one with only one color, I challenged myself. I've done one with three colors. Um, I, yes, uh, which looks like flowers going around and around the bracelet. Wayne, you are a star. That looks fantastic. Up the top there, he's got the Tiffany's. And then at the bottom, that looks like our Monaco, I think. Monaco design that one we usually you can make that one with micro crystals but I think he's gone for a slightly bigger one um uh, there but they look fantastic so thank you for Wayne to sending that in um he's also sent us this one wow that looks fantastic two days ago I sent you some pictures uh one of which was the three colored chenille yes yes um with micro crystals great i decided that i it needed a companion necklace unfortunately i didn't have enough micro crystals so i decided to use a twisted tubular herringbone wayne what a star that looks gorgeous great work there from wayne um i love that little design maybe i should I do know how to do that. What do you guys think? Shall I do a little tutorial on that design that Wayne's done? Uh, I think that looks fantastic. Would look great with micro crystals as well. You could sort of like do it as a, as part of the spiral, just one of the colors. But yeah, great job there to Wayne. That looks absolutely amazing. I know I've got more pictures. Let me have a quick look and see. Who else has sent me in pictures? We've got some more, I'm pretty sure. I think Andrew's been working on them during the show. Let's have a quick look here. Um, wait a minute. Come on now. Uh, let's see. Let's just remove a few. We've got Monica. She sent one in. I'm pretty sure there were more than that, though. Maybe not. Maybe, oh, yep, yeah, here you go. A few more. Oh, wow, loads more. Jesus. Many, 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 many. Um, here we go. Let's go with this one here. So, next one. What do we got? Monica Chardon. Uh, this is some of what... I've been doing while staying home. Really love this pretty necklace and bracelet. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Monica, fantastic, absolutely love it. Come on guys, comment in, tell us which ones you like. Sharon says she's loving Wayne's one. Maria says, beautiful Wayne. Sharon, I love your angels. Um, Stacy says, I sent a few in. There's lots, I got lots of pictures to show. Um, Beth Gregoire. Um, Double flat spiral, I did it. So if you didn't watch my flat spiral tutorial, this is um, pretty similar to what I did. She's done it as a double. That looks fantastic there um, to Beth. Um, sort of similar to what I, it's, she's, she's taken the tutorial that I showed last week and taken it to the next level. That looks gorgeous. Great job there to Beth. Um, Colleen as well. Um, Let's see. So she used size 11 and size 15 with two different sizes of pearls. Um, she needed it to be a bit longer, unfortunately. So she'll sell that one and make another. So clearly, 
Uh, Colleen is making to sell. Colleen has gone a bit mad. She sent us lots of pictures today, I think, uh, over the couple of weeks. My version of the beaded dress. So uh, again, that was another tutorial I did relatively recently. Um, Colleen has sent us a picture of her dresses. They look fantastic. I love your usage of the bugles there. Um, I added a belt. Gorgeous. The belt looks fantastic. It's um, is that with a little bead on the top there and you sort of circular added a bit of beading around it. That looks gorgeous. Gold and cream and then size 15s for the belt. I think this will look great for Christmas. Thank you for the pattern, Matthew. No worries. By the way, everyone, if you want to get this one, it's a free pattern. The, the, the beaded dresses that everybody's been sending in, their dresses uh, is a free pattern from us. Um, Colleen again, she made a new one, but it barely fits a new. So same as this design here, I believe, uh, looks like this one just here. That's another gorgeous one. And she's made my beaded bead as well on the end. So that's great. Colleen. Yes. Jermaine has just messaged in Colleen. You're amazing. Absolutely. I agree. Um, uh, oh, some of our little elves as well. Those are our little elf kit there on the right, uh, our Christmas elves. I know they look pink, but they're a light coral color. The bicones are drilled on the side, not down the middle. Um, uh, that is another beautiful one there from Colleen with a gorgeous rose pendant in the center. She's also sent us some other fantastic earrings. Lots and lots and lots of pictures here from Colleen. Um, I showed this one already, didn't I? Stacy said she sent in some pictures. I wonder if they've been processed. I'll just have a quick look. There's one other thing Andrew's filmed. I'll just show you very quickly because I know he wanted me to show that one off. He did a little video. Um, hopefully I can show it. Of all of the different designs that I did today. Let's see if I can pop that on the screen for you. Maybe. If we're lucky. Uh, let's see. Yes, I can. Here we go. Uh, so... Let's see what happens. Is it going to show? I don't know. Oh, there you go. So there you can see this is that's a better representation of the color of the bracelet that I did. Um, oh, wait a minute, where are we? Something in the background there. But yeah, there's a better version of the the little uh, bracelet that I've just made today. Uh, so you can see really closely all of the detail, but look at the sparkle that you get from the um, from the micro crystals. So they look gorgeous, don't they? But that's essentially what I've just showed you today. Doesn't that look lovely? So Andrew spent quite some time making that one in. So I thought I should um, show his little his little piece just there. And wait, he's got one other video. I'll just pop this one back on the screen. And I'll show his other video once more. Uh, where are we? Here it is media source let's change it and he's also put on this one just here let's have a look oh very nice so there you go this should show you what the colors look like really nicely that one there is the green the pistachio the purple there as well you can really see the satin color of the beads um the cream one it looks a bit yellower there in the picture than than in reality. It's a really beautiful sort of rich, creamy color. Uh, that one is a gray as well. Uh, Maria says, oh, wow, I really want to get these kits. Um, I agree. Um, Kelly said she sent in some pictures. Uh, yes, definitely do resend those, Kelly, because I'll show them next week. Uh, there is that rosy color again. Um, there's the blue. The blue looks really stunning. That blue color, it's just so soft. But you can really see how satiny soft those beads um, all look. And then we're back at the beginning. Um, so that, I believe, if you haven't been on the show and you would like to be, send us your pictures to live at beanspider.co.uk and I'll try and get you on next week. Right. Um, one last thing. Um, I will just pop myself back on the screen here. Uh, yeah, don't forget, I'm going to be back next Friday. I'm here every Friday uh, at 1 p.m. UK time. So whatever time that is, wherever you are in the world, uh, make sure you're tuning in. If you want to know when and where to be, definitely sign up to the link in the description to the Bead Spider uh, newsletter. 
Um, Azra says, Matthew, you should be awarded a teacher's qualification. You're a genius, very hardworking. I don't know if I'd go quite as far as a genius, and I certainly wouldn't say hardworking, but well, maybe sometimes I are. I, I are. Clearly, I'm not a genius. I are. I am. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed that one. Um, but yes, I will be back next Friday. I am going to be doing more with the Aurora Micro Crystals, I believe. Where's my little picture? So one last time, just to show you, these Micro Crystal fellas, uh, I am going to be working with these ones. I'm not doing this design. I've done that one as a live video already, but I'm planning something new, something, um, you know, uh something fantastic with that one there so if you if you want to uh be tuning in next week i'm going to be doing something with those micro crystal beads just there uh but yes as well um don't forget to check out last week's video like and share this one check out the products on the website you know the you know the story i tell you at every show um but yeah thank you all for joining in uh, maria who said she's new she's commenting in lots thanks for for commenting in and being really part of the the community everyone who's new and joined in and everything um i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial as much as i did i really like doing the the um the flat spiral it's a it's quite a fun little design and like i said if you've got three of them, it makes a fantastic necklace. Just to forget, uh, you know, there you go. Look at that, three of them as a necklace or take them off if you want and pop it on your wrist as a bracelet. You can do, wait, is it gonna fit? Yeah, there we go. Fits me perfectly, look at that. You can wear them one or stack them like that. And you can even wear three if you really wanted to, if you're getting all three and it looks super effective once you've got it on, I made the purple one a bit too big for me, I think, just to make sure. We always try and make sure that they're nice. Uh, you get lots and lots of beads. So that's why this one, this purple one, is certainly too large for me. You can see there's even more beads than just this. But we make a nice large one so that we can check that you will get plenty of beads. So even uh, if you've got a teeny weeny wrist, you can make a teeny weeny one. Um, or if you want to make a really, really long one, you can do that too. Plenty of beads included. Uh, but yes, let's see who's still here. Come say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. I'm going to be heading off. I'm going to be enjoying a bit of a weekend. Um, but yeah, did you enjoy the tutorial? Have you liked? Have you subscribed? Have you shared? Have you done all those sorts of things? I'm going to warm up my tea, uh, have a, a lovely cup of tea and get filling some of your orders. There's a lot of orders to fill. I can see of uh, you guys have been going a bit crazy on the ordering, it seems. Um, I'm going to have to put more kits in stock, I think. Uh, they're getting a bit low in stock. It's been blinging at me every time someone places an order. I get a little, a little notification, all video, bling, 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 whole time. Uh, but yes, did you guys enjoy today's tutorial? Uh, Vicky says thank you for the lovely tutorial. Susan says bye. This was great. Thank you. Um, Kelly says good night. Thanks for sticking around, Kelly. I know it's late there. Um, Evelyn, she's still here. Thanks for joining in. Um, let's see. Azra's still on. Stacy says have a great day. See you next week. Sharon Shepard, thank you. I enjoyed it. Till next week. Bye. Um, but yeah, if you if you want to get some more of me or Jermaine. In the meantime, check out our YouTube channel. Um, it's exploding at the minute. We're getting more than 150 new subscribers every week. We're almost up to 17,500, where two weeks ago it was uh, only at about 17,000. But it's really, really growing. So head over to YouTube, check out our YouTube channel. We're really working hard on our YouTube because it is growing really, really fast. So be a part of it, I guess. Um, and yeah, watch more tutorials, have fun, and I'll see you all next week for something new, something fun, and something very, very sparkly. Have a lovely weekend, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.